uh, what are we doing to it? Well, the first thing you'll notice, I do this on everything. We're sort of, uh, let's make this track a little bit bigger so everyone can see. Uh, okay, what are we doing? Well, first, there's a ton of clip gain automation. So we're getting rid of the the mute or the um, the breaths, not getting rid of them totally, but you know, this breath is uh, down five dB. This is down seven and a half dB. Uh, sort of tails are, you know, this last word here is pushed up in volume. Uh, and this is, you'll notice on all the vocal tracks, there's, you know, edits throughout all of them. This is just common uh, vocal rides, basically, making sure every syllable of the vocal hits at the same apparent level. Uh, that doesn't mean the same volume, just, you know, in comparison to the track, you want them to sort of feel like the same volume. Okay, so what are we doing with uh, effects on this? Well, we have a bit of uh, auto-tune on there. Uh, the song is in C minor. Uh, we've got it set to uh, alto tenor and the retune speed is 12. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, we have a de -esser. We have the virtual mix rack using my really good lead preset. Uh, slightly modified. The uh, high lift is, is a bit lower. The low lift is a little lower as well. Uh, and then we have a bit of corrective EQing uh, with the Pro Q3. Uh, and then we have some DSing after that. And then we have a bit of actually multi band compression. I don't always do this, but sometimes some songs need it. And in this case, it needed it. So let's, uh, let's try to go through all that and see why. Um, I'll leave the auto tune on. Uh, and then this trim thing is just plus one dB. That was sort of a decision, a last minute decision. Like, let's turn all the vocals up one dB. And that was sort of uh, so less important with respect to the mix, but that that's how we sort of finished it. All right, so let's hear this with no effects. Hey, it's a holiday. I got hoes on hoes and it out of control, yo. Hey, this another way. All my niggas on go, and I hope that you know it. So definitely a a fairly large improvement there. And let's hear what we we're using the B reverb. Um, if you have watched any of my other tutorials, you know I keep all my reverbs down here to be organized. The B reverb is literally the default preset on Valhalla plate. Really not that complex. Uh, so it's just a plate with a uh, a bit of a longer tail. All right, so let's hear uh, what it's all doing together. Hey, it's a holiday. I got hoes on hoes and... Oh, actually, you know what? Now I'm remembering something. We actually have the B reverb muted for the first chorus. We wanted it very dry to cut through. Uh, so you really hear what he's saying. Uh, you really get the hook, uh, you know, in your brain. And then the subsequent hooks have reverb on them. So let's hear what those sound like. Hey, it's a holiday. I got hoes on hoes and they are a control. There you go. Um, we have a bit of slap delay and a bit of doubling, not too much. Let's see if you can actually hear it. And I'll, I'll do that on the, uh, the first hook where the reverb is muted. So I'll, I'll mute those and then halfway through, I'll turn those on like that. And let's see if you can hear what they're doing. Hey, it's a holiday. I got hoes on hoes and they are a control, yo. Hey, this another way. All my niggas on go and I hope that you know it. Super subtle. I can hear it in my studio. It's just adding a really, really small bit of stereo. It's sort of filling in in the vocal just a little bit uh, with these very short stereo delays. Uh, but again, the volume's really, really low. So you're not going to hear a delay. That would be distracting. Uh, we just want to feel it. So it's sort of like just enhancing uh, the vocal just a bit. Okay, um, let's sort of go through and just see. Let me take all these effects off and you know, let's see how I built this vocal. So I'm going to add the de first. Hey, it's a holiday. I got hoes on hoes and they are a control, yo. Hey, this another way. So just taming some of the S's. There's, there's not a ton there, but it's just catching some of the ones that poke out. VMR is doing the most. Let's hear what VMR is doing. Hey, it's a holiday. I got hoes on hoes and they are a control, yo. So we filtered out everything below 103 hertz. We've boosted about 10K, about four and a half dB. We've boosted, uh, you know, four and a half K, 4.6 K, uh, a couple dB there. We have cut out a little bit of two and a bit. 
2,230 hertz. Uh, we've cut a few dB, 3 dB out of that, and that's about it. Then we're running it through the, you know, the distressor, uh, getting some nice compression out of it. Then this second compressor is just taming whatever this didn't catch. Uh, and then finally we have uh, some just high frequency, low frequency lifts. So let me take these off and let's build this one at a time. And, and by the way, this, uh, this is just a little bit of saturation on the pre, not doing much at all. So let's just hear, uh, without the EQ, we'll add the EQ and then go step by step. Hey, it's a holiday. I got hoes on hoes and they are a control, yo. Hey, this another way. All my niggas on go and I hope that you know it. Hey, it's a holiday. I got hoes on hoes and they are a control, yo. This actually glues it all together. Adding that little high lift, I'm guessing this is around 12K. Um, it doesn't really tell you, but I suspect that it's doing a little 12K boost or something. Um, maybe even higher, might be 16K. Um, and, uh, and then a little, uh, a little bit of like body to the vocal with this low lift. Not too much, but that stuff really helps that vocal come to life. Um, okay, so let's continue after VMR. Hey, it's a holiday. I got hoes on hoes and they are a control, yo. Hey, this another way. So I suspect I added this second EQ um, during the later stages of the mix process because there were sort of two directions for this song. Is this a pop song or is it a hip hop song? It's kind of both, but you want to mix them differently depending on what your focus is and we ultimately opted that this is really a pop song uh even though it's got hip-hop drums and 808s and kick drum you know all, all the things that represent a, a a hip hop record um but it's sort of we mixed it like a pop record and so that was a decision that sort of came halfway through and you know we're boosting a little bit more of the high frequency stuff taking a little bit more of the lows out um, and that I suspect was just like a creative choice we made later. And it's always easy rather than going back to the drawing board. Well, we know we like where it was and we know we want to make it a little bit brighter, maybe give a little more boosts around one K, which is more about the, the presence that we all hear. And, um, uh, and so we made some adjustments to it. Okay. So that's what pro Q three is doing. Then, you know, we add, when you add that high frequency stuff, you're, eventually just bringing out more of those S, the sibilant stuff. So we added another de uh, and that is not doing much, but just addressing around 12K. So let's hear what that's doing. Hey, it's a holiday. I got hoes on hoes and they are a control, yo. Just catching those little S's that pop through, not doing too much. Now let's hear what Pro MB is doing. Hey, it's a holiday. I got hoes on hoes and they are a control, yo. Hey, this another way. It's kind of just, uh, I mean, it, it's just taming certain frequency bands and, and sort of just gluing everything a little bit more together. And then, of course, we have the uh, trim, which is just boosting the signal by 1 dB. Okay, so that's the main lead vocal. I spent a lot of time on that because we don't want to go through that for every vocal. I suspect. Uh, for the most part, these are probably all processed the exact same. Uh, let's just see, is the, is the MB the same on all of them? It probably is because, you know, if it's all recorded on the same microphone, you want those to maintain consistency, then you just copy it down. Um, okay. So that's what we did for the lead vocals. All right. 